it. Sometimes we think about sin as if it's just like violating religious rules, right? Like the church says, don't do this, or the Bible says, don't do that. And so sin is just breaking these kind of almost arbitrary religious rules. And I think that's a fundamental misunderstanding. If you're like new to Jesus, new to the Bible, new to following God, new to church, one of the words you hear quite a bit, almost exclusively in a church context is the word sin. And then that raises the question, well, what is sin? I had this friend named Dan who, first time he showed up at church, you could tell he didn't want to be there. He was wearing dark sunglasses. He had tattoos all over his arms. He had a, you know, like a metallic or some heavy metal shirt on and he had a scowl on his face. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm thinking your wife probably drug you here, right? He obviously he didn't want to be there, but he kept coming back. And over time, he kind of warmed up to it. And then he and I met at Dairy Queen and that was one of the questions he asked me. Like, I don't even know what some of this stuff means, John. Like, what is sin? It's a good question. It's an important question. And part of the problem with that is sometimes we think about sin as if it's just like violating religious rules, right? Like the church says, don't do this, or the Bible says, don't do that. And so sin is just breaking these kind of almost arbitrary religious rules. And I think that's a fundamental misunderstanding. I think it's deeper than that. For example, if you, if you were to take a potted plant, a flower that's growing a plant, and you were to rip it out of uh, that, out of the soil, and now it's just there, right? What's gonna happen to that plant? Well, if you don't replant it, it's gonna die pretty quickly. Why? Because it belongs in the, the soil, right? It's supposed to be rooted in the soil. Well, sin is kind of organic like that, if you will. Sin is what we do when we rip ourselves out of the soil we're meant to live in. Um, I think, for example, of uh, things like don't lie or don't kill, don't murder. These are things that are destructive to human well-being. They're things that destroy relationships, destroy life. Why? Because we're not made to live that way. And so sin isn't violating arbitrary religious rules. Sin is going against what it means to be human. You see, in the Bible, um, we are made in the image of God. That's what God says. Let us make man in our own image. And so he made us, human beings, in his image. And so to sin is to go against what it means to be human and to go against who God is since we're made in his image. And so the reason sin is so bad is it offends God and it ruins us. Uh, when you lie, for example, like when my kids were small and they would lie, I would always tell them, you know why lying is wrong? Because God is truth and you're made in God's image, so you're made to practice the truth. And that's why lying is so destructive to our relationships and to our life. That's why it's so offensive to God. And so sin isn't breaking arbitrary religious rules. Sin is actually going against the very design of human nature.